I love golf, probably my favorite sport. Uh, and it happened on a golf course. So there's always that thought in my mind, you know, I always step on a golf course and go, oh, this is the place where, where, it all, where it all unfolded. So when I was six years old, um, my father passed away to a cardiac arrest. Uh, obviously that was a big hit, but I was a youngster. We didn't really know that the possibility of something being um, taken down to my brother and I was, was there. But for it to happen to me at, a, at 18 years old was what, 12 years after? was a big shock. We went out to play a round of golf, and we uh, got to the ninth tee and I teed off, and I collapsed after I hit my tee shot. And I'm grateful for Aaron who saved me that day. He felt my pulse, and he felt that it was dying very quickly. It was going very slow. Without him, no one else knew. Um, he did CPR, and um, so he really did a lot that day to, to keep, me, keep me alive. And, uh, next thing I knew was, I was in hospital. Two days later, I woke, woke up. When I first realized and came to grips with what was actually happening, I thought, okay, is this going to happen again? But when I was reassured by doctors with my ICD, which is my implantable defibrillator, that I was lucky enough to be in school within three weeks, and that was all thanks to the work of, of everyone involved. So the cause of my cardiac arrest was a syndrome called Long QT. My family had been tested, my brother and my mum, they're both negative, so doctors are now even more certain that it, that it was passed on from my father. My life has changed in some way since it happened. Uh, but I'm lucky in the majority of ways. I can still play sport, I can still go running, I can still do some strenuous activity. I'm a walking defibrillator in a way. If something happens, that'll shock me back into rhythm. I still believe that I can still go on to do in later life what I wanted to do before the cardiac arrest. So the research that the British Heart Foundation do is crucial in letting people like me know about my condition, how I can you know, protect against it, how I can live life with it. And in terms of other people, it'll help find um, underlying conditions that people don't know about and probably save more lives.